powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm David J. in for Dustin Kleeman. Another candidate enters the U.S. Senate race for 2018. Former Yellowstone County District Judge Russell Fagg officially announced his run for the U.S. Senate just about an hour ago. Fagg joins the list of Republicans looking to challenge incumbent Democratic Senator John Tester, who is running for a third term. Fagg uh, told the uh, crowd at the Billings uh, Flying Service he hopes to bring his Montana heritage, family values, and background as a judge to Washington. His focus, creating more jobs for Montanans and balancing the budget. Fagg, who served two terms in the Montana legislature before being elected judge, made the announcement uh, this afternoon after months of speculation. The judge had uh, recently retired from the bench uh, to form his exploratory committee before making this announcement. Meanwhile, three other Montana Democrats already are campaigning for the nomination to take on Montana's new congressman, Republican Greg Gianforte, next year. One of them, Billings attorney John Heenan, spoke this week with NTN's chief political reporter, Mike Dennison, about his candidacy. John Heenan is a political novice in Montana, making his first run for office. He spent his career as an attorney, representing people with grievances against banks, insurance companies, and other entities. Now, the 40-year-old lawyer says he wants to represent all of Montana against what he calls powerful interests. My only agenda is to do exactly what I do uh, as a consumer protection lawyer, take exactly the same um, sides, ethic, efforts on behalf of all Montanans in Congress in a system where I, I just truly feel like it's, there's no one there that really has people's backs. Heenan's law firm won a $2 million judgment in 2015 for a Billings couple whose house was mistakenly foreclosed upon and sold by a bank. And in 2014, it won a $2.7 million verdict for a Billings woman denied insurance payments when her husband was killed by another driver. Heenan says he opposes Republican moves to reduce federal regulations on big banks. He also says the Trump tax cut plan is skewed toward the wealthy, offering the bulk of its benefits to those who don't really need them. I love the idea of how do we give tax cuts to uh, working Montanans, you know, people that, are, that deserve it the most, that need it the most. I hate the idea of increasing our federal deficit and taking away from spending on programs so that we can add more money to people that already um, are billionaires. When asked about gun laws, Heenan says he's not going to Washington to push any gun legislation. He also says he favors a Medicare for all health care system and believes it can make the system less expensive and more efficient. As we said, Heenan is one of three Democrats already competing to take on Representative Gianforte next year. Yet none is well known by Montana voters. In the coming weeks, we'll be talking to the other two candidates as well. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And the other two Democrats in the race are former Land Trust Director Grant Keir of Missoula and State Representative Tom Woods of Bozeman. Here in Billings, a week after the farmer's market uh, finished its year, another event provided a chance for some local produce. Harvest Fest signals the unofficial end to the summer farmer's market season here in the Magic City. The event features arts and crafts, fresh produce, food trucks, and Montana-made goods. Harvest Fest is the last opportunity for area farmers to sell their crop on the streets of Billings. The Downtown Billings Alliance puts on Harvest Fest and estimates about 5,000 attend during the seven-hour event. Hunters had the chance to practice their shot at the Prickly Pear Sportsmen's Association today. The group hosted a site in day for the public so the hunters are prepared when they're about to an out uh, in the wilderness. This event that took place in Helena aimed to educate all levels of gun handlers on gun safety and shooting before the general hunting season for deer and elk begins next weekend. Experts helped ensure rifles were safe and shot accurately. Association members say the day was just one way the range serves the public. It's really a, a service to the community and, and we're happy to provide the opportunity. Every experience in the great outdoors is a new opportunity to feel close to nature and that's what I really enjoy about hunting. Archery season for deer and elk ends tomorrow, uh, October 15th.